the disturbing lore of slap battles. So, I was scrolling through Fun Facts of Tencel, uh, the channel, and I noticed that Tencel uh, wrote something very interesting. And I haven't read it yet, but this this looks pretty interesting. What is it? What? Bob's true form? That does not look like Bob, but okay. So, anyways, um, yeah, we're going to be reading this lore today and try to piece together what actually happened. I guess it's Bob lore, so let's get into it. So, Tencel said... Lore, also written by Gravity. Bob was originally the Greek god of darkness, Erebus, a.k.a. the bringer of blindness. He was rebellious and mischievous god that enjoyed tormenting the mortals of Earth. Eventually, the other gods ba decided to banish Erebus, encasing him within a gauntlet as a punishment, allowing the humans of Earth to use his power instead of having his power used on them. They did not refer to him as Erebus, but abbreviated the name he once used for terror, bringer of blindness, to Bob. Humiliating him and bringing down his legacy, he once held. Due to his encasement within the gauntlet, he is unable to take his true form. His powers are limited. Bob's power can be harnessed by whoever wields the gauntlet, being able to summon his entrapped form. Uh, having to obey the holders of commands, uh, but uh, unbeknownst to the mortals, the more times Bob's powers are used, the more people that Bob absorbs. The power he gains, while it's not being a large amount over time, it could lead to dire consequences. There have been several occasions where Bob has been able to break free of his restraints and cause havoc, albeit... I'm sorry, I'll, I'll be, okay, anyways, uh, not on the uh, same level as he has caused when he was still a god. Though the casualties and damage left behind are still tremendous. Despite his lack of power, Bob is able to take on many forms, although none of them matching his strength of his true form. Some forms were more monstrous than others. With the passing of time, Bob has became more aggravating, sick of his chains, and longing to be free from his prison. And even with his limited form, he is seen to be growing stronger, being able to slip free of the gauntlet more often. Although still ending right back where he was, uh, but these small instances of Bob being free, Bob has caused havoc wherever he can, playing tricks, illusions, and messing with the people's minds, just as he used to a millennia ago. Not after Bob's occurrences, a group called himself the Opposition formed, and took notice of his outburst of chaos and began to track down where he would appear. They tried gathering as much information about him as possible, though they could find next to nothing of his past. They knew that Bob's shackles were growing weaker the longer he stayed, though they could find next to nothing of his past. They knew that Bob's shackles were growing weaker and longer. He stayed entombed within, his gaunt within the gauntlet. So they began to experiment, trying what they could to create something to combat Bob. If, if he were to ever regain his freedom, though failed test after test, there seemed to be no hope at creating something of use. One day, a scientist rushed back to the lab with what looked to be a sample of Bob himself. Left behind from one of the rampages, a vial engaging black goose-like substance. They finally had something to work with, and after that, they spent hours, days, months, experimenting with the tiny glimmer of hope visible within the distance. Finally, after all their hard work, they had created a living organism that had similar structure to Bob, gooey in nature and beady little eyes. Though one main difference was that the creature was white, and its eyes were tinted green, unlike Bob's black and yellow palette. Experiment 808, the true, the one true successor to all their failed attempts. The scientists collectively titled the creature Rob as the returner of brightness. A fitting name for the creation would hopefully bring down Bob's reign of terror. Years passed as the organism grew larger and larger. It was nothing like Bob, and quite the opposite. It was kind, caring, and docile, though it still had the intent of playing games. It was nothing on the level of Bob believe a game, which truly was. It was friendly, 
though, despite of this, Rob was not contained within his chamber. It was, and it was not to let out any circumstances. He still had not yet reached full maturity, letting him out before he could lead to unforeseen consequences. No one would be able to predict what happened to Rob and Bob met before he was able to fully develop. One On one fateful day, as the scientists were arriving at the lab, when they entered Rob's chamber, the glass had to be broken, shattered, and the container's fluids were spilled across the floor, and most importantly, Rob was gone. No one knew where he had gone, and he had not left a single trace. The scientists were rightfully losing their minds. Their one chance of hope that they have been slaving over for years now is gone. It could be anywhere in the world. There was no telling what happened to him next. Only fate will decide his crude judgment of the actions that have been taken. Time will tell. Now it is time to piece together what actually happened. Okay, so the lore firstly starts off with Bob, and he was apparently a Greek god of darkness, and his name was Erebus. Now, he was the bringer of blindness, yada yada yada, but he was mischievous, and I guess he was a killer, I guess, to everybody else. Uh, the humans, unfortunately, were the gods, decided to banish Erebus, and encasing him in a gauntlet. Now, the gauntlet, they are talking about the glove, a glove, as in the Bob glove. And it's allowing the people on Earth to use his power instead of having Bob's power on him. Uh, but the people do not refer to him as Erebus, and they abbreviated his, well, name, the bringer of blindness, to Bob, and it humiliated him. Now, he, uh, because Bob is in the glove, right, he is unable to take his true form, which means he is not as powerful anymore, although his power still can be released by players. Now, what do people do with his power? I don't know. For all I know is that his name was changed to Bob, or at least for the first paragraph, his name was changed to Bob, and he was banished into the glove, or what they call the gauntlet. Now, you might think, why is Bob called the bringer of blindness? Why? Well, if you haven't encountered a, a, like a problem with Bob, well, when he chases you, the screen... I don't know if it's noticeable enough for you to notice that the screen goes dark and you can't really see as well. So, you know, that's that's why he's called Bob the, the Bringer of Blindness because he blinds you or he turns the screen a lot darker. Um, yeah, that's why he's called that. Now, in the lore, the scientists created a living organism similar to Bob. Keep that in mind. It was gooey in nature and beady little eyes. Although, one of the main differences is that the creature was white and its eyes were tinted green, unlike Bob's black and yellow palette. Is this interesting? Well, if it doesn't ring a bell, let me show you. Okay, so here we are in Slap Battles. And well, here's Bob. Here's Buddies. Don't you see? Don't you see? The appearance is white. It's tinted green. Okay, maybe the eyes are in tinted green, but why is this green then? Why is this tinted green? And it's different compared to Bob. Unlike Bob's black and yellow color palette. And don't you find it interesting how Bodies was released right the update right after Bob? Do you not see some similarities here? Well... I believe that the buddy's glove is Rob. It's white and it's tinted green. I don't know. You guys can say whatever you want to say. I think buddy's is Rob as the glove. Ah, yes. Pim. Buddy old Pim. Everybody went crazy off over him after the Elude update release. He was the monster in the maze and everybody went crazy about theories on who he was. People say he was Bob's friend, but I don't think that's the case. Now, let me explain. Why Pim is locked up in the maze, and Tensil said himself that he locked Pim in the maze himself. No one else did, but Tensil did. Tensil locked Pim in the maze, and yeah. But 
Why is Pim like this weird creature? Big lips, weird eyes. Why is he tinted yellow? Why why is all of this why is this why is this Pim? Well, I have a theory on what Pim was before. Let me show you. And guys, you can go crazy. You can tell me I'm crazy. But I have a theory on when Pim was before he became this demonic monster. Let me explain. If you go here, look at this duck right here. It's it has big lips and it's yellow. I was a very okay. You know what? Let me show you right here. If the duck is right there, you might think if the duck is right there, well how come that Pim is chilling right under this table? Care to explain essential? Well, Pim, this is a let me just say this right here. Under the table is a sighting of Pim, not actually Pim. If Pim's true form was a table, that would just be weird. It's more than that. Pim is a real-life creature. He is not a table. So, what was he actually? Well, we referred to the duck. Tensil actually released a very weird, but also mysterious, well, UGC item. Let me show you. Boom! Right here! This is the UGC item. Pim, right here. This is a very bad- Okay, guys, you you probably think I'm crazy for a second. But think about it. Look how similar this looks like to this. It has the big lips. It has round eyes. It's, its skin color is yellow. It looks like pin. Sometimes you just gotta duck under life's troubles. Hope no one misunderstands this. Is that, is that lore? Well, <laughs> it's called duct tape. And that's why I said it was- it, Pin may be the duck. Because- it has. It looks like a duck. I mean, it has the lips, it has the eyes. It's yellow. Like it, it looks like a duck. So, is Pim a duck? Is Pim's true form a duck? Was he a duck before he turned into a demonic monster? Maybe, ter maybe Tensil. Maybe Tensil's a part of the lore. Maybe he locked him up in the maze and then he turned him into whatever this is. But I think that Pim, before he was locked up in the maze. Looked like this, right here. I think he was a duck before Tensil decided to turn him into here. And think about it. Why would Tensil put a keypad right near the pond in Slapple Island? And why is there a weird looking orange? Uh, well, probably right here. That looks like, that looks like Pim's eyes. So, did, did Pim, did Pim do this? Did Pim do this to the orange? Did Pim, was, did, did Tensil lock him up in the maze? Because... Maybe, maybe, maybe Pim was chilling near the lake, you know, but, like, the the ducks chill near the lake, okay? Ducks chill near the lake. Why would Tensil put a keypad near the tree near the lake? And why does the orange look like that? T Pim has to do something to the orange to make him look like that. Oranges do not look like this. They look like this. They don't look like that. I'm going crazy, aren't I? But yeah, guys, that's all the lore I'm going to be covering for today's video. I just find uh, the Bob lore and the Pim lore pretty disturbing. But if you guys want me to go over more lore, just comment down below. Uh, down below. Down below. Uh, but yeah, comment down below uh, what lore you want me to go over. I will be sure to go over it. Don't worry. I will see you all later in the next video. I also tried to post daily now. I'm trying to get back on my daily schedule. So wish me luck. And yeah, adios. Me and me! Can't call. We will in one minute go. I'm uploading a video.